Diary, hello. It's the uh, middle of June 2022 and you are looking at the Medi Peak Flow Meter Standard Range. Um, and to explain further, um, I've had an asthmatic condition for a number of years and um, it's time to actually quantify the problem. And as my management friend said, you've got to uh, monitor it to manage it. So um, there's no point in saying I've got asthma without actually quantifying what the problem is. And so I've been to the National Health Service and they've come up trumps and they've given me free of charge this lovely peak flow meter tester. So we're gonna do a little unboxing and then I'm gonna explain further. So in the package is a meter as a brochure that tells you not to kill yourself with this meter. No, it doesn't really. It just there's a there's a there's some explanations here of how to use it, and there's a chart so you can record your results. Now, to put that away, you're just going to concentrate on meter itself. So this is a device. They say in the instruction leaflet, which I have actually read, um, that you need to get one. Uh, every three years or less. So perhaps every year when you have a, an NH, if you have asthma in, in the UK, um, then it should be that your NHS practice will ask you for a yearly checkup. And my yearly checkup has just been, and that's how come I have this particular device. Now it's very simple. Uh, the one that you get from them to keep doesn't have a, a nozzle that's interchangeable. The one used at the doctor's surgery has a disposable front end that they ask you to blow into. But all you do is you put this down here, then um, off camera and do a bit of blowing. And unfortunately, you're gonna see that the terrible result that I've got, well, terrible for me, is that I'm sort of 500 and something, which is very low. If you look at my age, the fact that I'm a, a genetically a man and uh, even though I'm quite short the the number should be over 600 and it isn't um, that's at the moment that's not when I'm having an asthma attack uh, when it would be substantially lower now I did notice there are these other scales here on on the actual device and I think that's there's one at 100 and something something like below 200 and I think these are, the, these are the two points where, according to the UK Asthma Association that I've looked upon at Zweb, uh, these are people who have a, a much greater degree of breathing difficulty than, than myself. So I'd like to, again, step back a bit and say, uh, as a, an aspiring athlete for a number of years, it's always been curious to me that I thought I had a pretty good lung capacity and then uh, one year when I was um, on vacation, I did have some breathing problems and we went to get out my lungs checked out and they, they put me with one of these machines and I was very surprised to find that I had quite a low reading. And then back home in Switzerland, uh, I had another test. Again, I was low and I thought, well, this is very strange. I thought I had a high, a high lung capacity. Um, and then on races, I've discovered that after a couple of hours, typically, my breathing capacity can completely collapse. And that's the fundamental reason why I'm now uh, probably gonna be a lifelong taker of these asthma medi medications. Uh, so the, 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 the point is, if you are an athlete or aspiring athlete, or just general person who has problems with breathing, in the UK at least, you deserve to go to your GP ask them about getting one of these devices and ask them what medications are available for you to take on a, on a regular basis to try and alleviate any difficulties. Um, so there's a variety of, of pressurised inhalers that you can get from the NHS. And the idea is, uh, according to these instructions, is that you would you do a daily test uh, before you take the medication. I will put in the notes to this YouTube the link which shows the range of normal values for what this is called a peak flow test. Okay, Dara, that's it for now. I hope that's instructive and uh, look forward to you watching more of the same. Thanks, bye.